<laughs> memory card empty. Fitness trackers on, everybody. Right. Any additional stretches you want to do, do them now while I'm talking. We're warmed up, we're good to go. It's the 20 exercise run through. I like this one. Why? Because it's not feeling so repetitive like a classic circuit would. Not that any circuit we ever do feels repetitive yet, apart from every minute on the minute, but it's a good job it's not that tonight, eh? Right, 20 exercises, 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest, okay? Work as hard as you can. I'm just simply going to explain each exercise as it comes. So I'll be sacrificing my 20 seconds rest to talk and teach you. So make sure you're paying attention. Yep. Make sure you're good to go for the buzzer going. Don't let the buzzer go and then fanny about getting set up and 10 seconds have gone and you've not even done a rep, okay? Stand by because the first exercise is seal jacks. We're doing them. We're kicking ass out of them these days. But we have been doing jumping jacks for a very long time. Right, set yourself up everybody. Seal jacks, we're starting in 10 seconds. Seal jacks look like this. Look how nice and tall, nice and proud I am, yep. Nice and graceful. Punch out and punch in. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, we're away. Yep, that means you. Let's go. So with these, straight into it. I'm warmed up already. These are gonna get my heart rate up. Now again, nice and dynamic. Nice and explosive, punching out, yep. What I'm not doing is this soft, okay, crap. Nice, firm, pull the arms back. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Great work. 10 seconds left. Nice, five. Keep working hard, remember? Just in case you need a, just in case you need a reminder. Ding dong, the timer went, yep. So, Full crunches next, everybody. Full crunches, I just realized. Now, full crunches, we're lying and we're back. Oh, one of these days I'll get everything right. Lying on your back, knees to chest, and back out, okay? Stand by, go. Knee to chest, out we go. Now again, look at me. I'm not rushing the reps, I'm up. Squeeze, back down. I want you to say that, or well, you can say it out loud if you like, because you're muted. Squeeze and back down, squeeze, and back down. Hopefully that's not putting you off, good. So my legs are getting punched out straight, feet six inches off the ground. When I lift, my chest up to my knees, my upper back comes off the ground, yep. You can go fast if you like, but I would much rather you're up, squeeze, control, descend, okay? More time under tension on that one. Next exercise, a simple one. Prisoner squats. Hands on temples, pull the shoulder blades apart. It's going to help encourage keeping your chest up. Squats. It's just body weight squats, everybody. Focus on depth, focus on the good squat mechanics that I'm always trying to teach you. Go. So keep the chest up. And by chest up, I don't mean vertical. I just mean don't let that happen. Get the reps cracked, okay? We can really go for it, but make sure You're getting down to the depth that you can, low as you can, while maintaining good form. As in you don't feel your spine start to fall forward. You feel your whole foot is flat on the floor. You don't feel the heels lift off. Squeeze the butt at the top, and that's gonna help keep the glutes fired up into it. Good, good exercise there. Right, next exercise, press ups. Regular press-ups, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Back to basics. Make sure you're giving me the best reps you can. Full or on the knees, either way. Or you could start full, get tired, and then end up on the knees. Go. Think about those elbows. I'm pulling them. 45 degrees to the body. Imagine pulling the ground towards your chest. Pull the ground. Yeah, that's going to help get your elbows in the right position. Make sure you're locking those elbows out all the way down. Okay, good work. Good. Back on your feet. Back on your feet, quick shake out, and then we're lying on our front. Dorsal raises, okay? Dorsal raises, 
It's like a Superman, but my hips and legs stay on the ground. I'm up, I'm pulling, yet. Those shoulder blades together, go. Make sure you're getting that pause, squeeze, down. Pull the shoulder blades back and pull the elbows back with them. Yeah. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Really focus on lifting and squeezing that lower back too. Make sure your head isn't getting pulled right back because that's no good for anyone. Now it is a lower back exercise, but if you're really focusing on pulling those elbows back, you'll probably feel the upper back getting worked as well. Just make sure hit, you're getting that big squeeze. Good work. Great work, everybody. On your feet, high knees now, okay? We like high knees, don't we? It's gonna get my heart rate up. If you're struggling with high knees because you've got a dodgy ankle, spot sprint, if you can. Hopefully that'll take the, the pressure off, okay? Or whatever injury you might be suffering from, because I know some people are struggling with high knees. Go! <laughs> Drive the arms. So if you are struggling with high knees, is it an impact? Because like I say, I know a few people are carrying injuries. Don't be making it worse. <sighs> Coming from the biggest hypocrite of the year. But, <laughs> but push yourself hard, but don't make it worse. Driving the, the, the knees up, pulling the knees up, and driving these arms. Let's go for it. High knees. There's only 15 seconds left. <sighs> Let's go for it. <sighs> nice. 10 seconds. Relax. Good. Good. <laughs> Good work. Right, inchworm press ups next. Good. Right, stand by. 10 seconds. Inchworm press ups. We know how to do them. Make sure you're stood like me at the end of each rep. Nice and tall, nice and proud. Go. I walk out. I do my press up. I lift the hips and I bend my knees. So it's very much a full body exercise. So your legs are working hard. That's what people don't realize a lot of the time. If you're doing it properly, you're squatting down, walking the hands out, doing your press up, lifting the hips, bending the knees. So you're pretty much squatting, but not quite full range. So we're still working those legs a lot. And again, if you need to drop to the knees on the press up, nothing wrong with that. But make sure it's only for the press. Jeez, that was quick. Well, that was quick. Right, okay. Elbow plank around the world. So we're in the elbow plank position. And all we do is punch one arm out, lift one leg. Lift the other leg, punch the other arm out. I'm going to be calling it out. Stand by. Three, two, one. Establish the plank. Imagine someone's going to stand on your lower back. Then right arm, punch, pull out. Right leg, lift. Down, left leg, lift, down, left leg, left leg. Ah, oh, just go. <laughs> That's the tempo I'm after. Up, down, punch, pull in, okay? Rather than going real fast. Make sure your legs are together. Yep, don't have your feet apart, otherwise, you're going to make it easier to balance. If you're easier to balance, your core ain't going to work as hard. We're not trying to make it easy for ourselves. We're try trying to get better. Great work. Right, an easy one, but it's about control and balance. Reverse lunge into a thrust. I take a big step back. Shin is vertical. Okay, so from the back of the lunge, that's where the power into the thrust comes from. It's not, go. Okay, breathe out on the thrust. It's not just a case of lunge and then go. Yep, it's a big step. So really focus, it's about power. It's about balance. In control, it's about control. Good. Good. <laughs> Keep going. We've got a second technical glitch of the night, everybody, but it's all under control, don't you worry. 10 seconds. I'm seeing a blue screen looking at me. 
and that's not good. Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Rest it there, everybody. Great work, 20 seconds. Okay. <laughs> You're about to hear an activity complete. What is going on in the world? Right, keep going. Your next exercise is going to be shoulder taps. Press up position, everybody. We're happy with that. You're damn right we are. Okay. Stand by. 40 seconds, shoulder taps. Getting that full press up position. Three, two, <laughs> oh man, go, go, ding dong, there we are now everyone, there we go, shambolic eh, no wonder no one comes back, <laughs> no one comes back, good, now look at me here, feet are together, knees are together, I'm not just tapping, but I'm grabbing, grabbing the shoulder, why, because it's going to give you more control, going to test your balance a bit more and more time under tension you feel your hips wobbling side to side that's what you're trying to keep to a minimum here okay we're trying to control it it's a core exercise now if you're not feeling it in the core it's probably because you've got the hips far too high good work we're all done okay good news is the technical glitches are uh, hopefully out of the way timer's all good we caught up in time though don't worry Right, okay, I'm sure you're not worried. Tricep extensions next. Okay, this is one you need to get right. I'm down, it's like a close-handed press-up. I'm leaning over. I'm leaning over my hands. Elbows to the floor. Elbows to the floor. Do you have to play around with the position? Okay, we should not be getting pain in the elbows. If you're getting pain in the elbows, ease off a wee bit. But, on that note, you can really get a lot of weight on the arms. So it's elbows to the floor. Driving through the hands. So you can probably find you can get a lot of weight on that one. Yep, now we're going for burpees. We're not just regular burpees. Remember those shades, shade shuffles? When we've done the one, two, three, four. So it's a burpee, four punches, and then side shuffles. Make sure you stay low on them. Stand by. So it's a burpee out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, okay. Up. One, two, three, four. Side to side to side. Make sure you're side to side. One, two, three, four. You're staying nice and low. One, two, three, four. And the biggest tip we'll give you is on the punches, keep your feet square. One, two, three, four. And then you can get straight into the side steps. One, two, three, four. Side to side to side. One, two, three, four. I like these. One, two, three, four. In a sick sort of way. One, two, three, four. Good. Relax. So some exercises definitely harder than others. Right, okay. X. X planks next. You're going to get yourself on all fours, but in the position of an X. And then all it is is reach back, down with the hips. Lift the hips, reach back, okay? So you're reaching back by lifting the hips. Lift the hips up, lift the hips down. If you're doing it right, you most definitely should feel the core activating here. So lift the hips to get back. Try not to compromise the body. And you're trying to touch toes, ankles, whatever you can reach by pushing those hips up and back. So again, deep core muscles here we should be feeling. Great work, nice. Right, crab kick-ups next, another core exercise for you. So crab position. Only one foot on the ground at a time. It's not this. It is not this. Stand by. Nice and fast. Go. And it's just a nice simple flick of the foot. Make sure that knee's getting kicked up. Make sure only one foot is in contact with the ground. It's fast feet, everyone. Fast feet. Oh. 
relax, great work. Jumping jack, jumping jack, jump squats, yep, but we're doing two. So it's two jumping jacks, two jump squats, feet in, feet out. Feet in, happy with that one. Pardon me, two and two. Go, jumping jack one, jumping jack two, jump out, squat, feet together, jump out, squat, feet together, jumping jack, beautiful. Nice and light on those toes. Again, just like the seal jacks in the beginning, make sure we're nice and dynamic, okay? None of, none of that key, okay? <laughs> nice, big, powerful reps. Good work. Good, relax. Next one is simple. We're running on the spot, but we're punching the sky alternatively, yep. Make sure when you're punching, punch, pull down. Yep, I don't wanna see this. Yep, we're not in a rave. Stand by, go. So I'm punching. My feet are moving fast. Not quite high knees, everybody. It's like sport sprints, yep. But you won't be as fast because our arms have got to work through a greater range of movement. But I want you to try to be fast. Well, don't try, be fast. Simple as that. Punch out, pull down, punch out, pull down. Make sure these arms are working through a full range of movement. And this should get the heart rate up. A lot of moving parts. Move fast, move properly. Okay, five seconds, keep going. Relax, great work. Right, one of the personal ones that I hate is a plank jack, but we're doing it. Plank jacks, because some people love them. I hate them. Full press up position, feet together, everybody. Then all we're doing, we jump out as far as we can with the legs, but I keep the core. Go. I try to keep control of my hips. Don't let them sag. Don't lift them up. Keep them solid. They're gonna move around, of course they are, but that's where the core work comes in. Making sure you stay in control of them. Get in a rhythm, do them properly, and you'll most definitely feel the core working, including that lower back. Good, back on your feet, shake it out. 10 seconds time, we'll lie on our backs, then we're into flutter kicks, okay, flutter kicks. Simple exercise, no one should be giving up for 40 seconds. Sit on your hands, legs straight and go. Now if you look at my knees, they're locked out, they're straight. Okay, this movement is coming from my hips, my pelvis. The whole leg is moving as one. And it's literally heel to toe, heel to toe. Never resting. Never in contact with the ground. Work as fast as you can. It's perfectly normal for your quads, etc., to be burning if your legs are tired. Those are still working here. Good work. Okay, this is an easy one, five seconds. When I see easy, I don't mean easy, easy. You just get in the zone with this one and go. Good, right everyone, plank to press up, do it properly. Elbow plank to full press up and back down. Now you can alternate between which hand you go up on as much as you want, just don't keep going up on the same arm for 40 seconds, yep. Stand by, everybody go. You're trying to make sure, make sure your feet and knees are together again as always, because we don't want to make it easier. Keep the control there. And personally, I usually go for five on the right, five on the left. As in, always going up on the left first, and then always up on the right, rather than constantly going up in the same arm, always. Because that arm's obviously going to be working a bit harder, isn't it? Keep working, keep pushing it. Let's get it done. Good. 
Nice. Right, to finish us off, exercise number 20. Lie down, stand up, jump up. Yep. You lie down, you stand up, and you jump. That is a jump. That's all you're adding to it, okay? Stand by. Try not to barf. Three, two, one, go. Lie down, flatten your back. Stand up tall, jump. Straight back down. Again, if you're getting up in one leg, that's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Do whatever works for you. As long as you're pushing yourself hard. But either way, try to get the jump as part of a continuation of getting up rather than make the jump a separate exercise if you can. Finish the rep off that you're on. Walk around, catch your breath and get yourself a wee sip of water. You've earned it. Now, Had this been a morning circuit, or a Tuesday or Thursday circuit, that would have been us. But you all know that that is not us. So we're going to go again. But this time, 20 on, 10 off. Yep. So the intensity goes up. Intensity goes up quite a lot, actually, for 20 on, 10 off. So you should feel that it does. Yep. You most definitely should feel like the intensity has just went up a notch. You push yourself as hard as you can for 20 seconds because that 20 seconds is over and done with before you know it. Your 10 seconds rest is not rest. There'll be enough time to listen to me, try to breathe out whatever the next exercise is to you, and then you can set up. You go when that buzzer goes. If you want to, go early, but don't be late. Yep, do not be late to the party. 30 seconds and we begin from the top. Stand by, so it's half the time. Yep, this is gonna be a 10 minute session. Boom, get it done and get yourself done while you're at it, okay? Fly out, all out, Blech. Effort level 10, everybody, yep. Stand by, 15 seconds, it's seal jacks, and then it's full crunches, and then it's prisoner squats, and then after that, it's probably me gonna be struggling to tell you what it is. Stand by, five seconds. Push yourself hard, when you get to the end of this 10 minutes, I want you to feel like you've done just that, go. It's only 20 seconds, so you are going all out, flat out. You ain't pacing it now. When that 20 seconds hits, it's usually right at that threshold where you're about to start fatiguing. Yeah, you're gonna start slowing down. And that's the beauty of 20 on 10 off. Rest, yep, but it ain't rest. It's only 10 seconds, so you're lying flat on your back. Full crunches, yep. Keep that control though. Up, squeeze, down. Up, squeeze, down. Power up, down under control. One second up, two seconds down. Yeah, get that control there. Good. Prisoner squats. Prisoner squats and then press ups and then dorsal raises. I'm just gonna blot them out while I can breathe. Prisoner squats, go. Let's go everybody. I'm People sat down, people scratching their head. People contemplating life, you ain't got time for that. Now you've only got 10 seconds left of squats. Focus on those glutes, think about the butt. Is it working? Squeeze it anyway at the top just to make sure. You should feel the glutes. You should feel the glutes driving you at the bottom of that squat. Press ups, high quality reps over speed. Speed comes with high quality, go. Good, drop down, dorsal raise. Remember, pull those elbows back, stand by, go. Up, squeeze, down, upper body only. Pull those elbows back, feel that lower back, and you have got this. This is a bit of control, but you probably struggle to get any sort of rhythm going with your breathing, because you're tensing. Good.
Back on your feet, everyone. High knees now. Five seconds, those feet are moving in three, two, one, go. Yes, come on. Drive the arms. Trying to get the knees as physically high as you can. Yep, 10 seconds and we're done on these. Go, go, go. I love 2010. Yes, and so do you. Rest, pardon me. Inch one press ups. Inch one press ups. Stand by. Go. Just keep throwing yourself in to the next rep. Up and down. Lift those hips, bend those knees. Good. Next exercise, elbow plank around the world. Three, two, elbow plank around the world. Go, punch, pull in. Lift, down, lift, down, punch, pull in. Lift, lift. You get the gist. Keep that core solid. Don't let it rock. Don't let it rise. You are in control of it. Good. Stand by. Reverse, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge to thrust. Three, two, one. Big step back. Whack. Okay. <laughs> Whack. Pardon for the sound effect. But focus on that power. You're trying to bring it through with force. And up. Good. Keep it going. Shoulder taps, full press up position, feet together, knees together, go, grab, grab, keep the hips down, don't let them sag, make sure they're not lifted up though, you should feel the core, feel that wobble side to side with the hips, keep it controlled, try to minimise, okay, you're probably not going to be able to stop it, but try to minimise it, nice, great work. Tricep extensions. Elbows on the ground this time. I've done it wrong last time. I do apologize if you were watching. Go. Really load these arms up. Get a lot of body weight on by leaning over your hands. And you should probably feel that you can get pretty close to failure. Good work. Great work. Right, burpee with the side shuffles. Burpee, four punches, side shuffle, three, two, one, jump out, jump in, one, two, three, four, side to side, keep low. One, two, three, four, side to side to side. One, two, three, four, I'm only going three to four paces each way. I think I should have said that in the first time, just in case you're out in the garden, it's huge. One, two, three, four. Good, fantastic everybody. Next exercise, X planks. Yep, so we're in that press up position, but legs are apart, hands are apart. Just imagine you're the shape of an X and you're trying to touch the opposite corner, which is your foot. Okay, so I'm lifting the hips, remember. Then dropping the hips, lifting the hips, dropping the hips. Really working the core. Nicely done. Okay, crab kick ups. Crab kick ups next. Remember the intensity levels all out flat out here. Go. Nearly there already, everybody. <clears throat> work hard, work fast, keep the quality high, push yourself hard. Good. On your feet. Jumping jack, jump squats. Two jumping jacks to two jump squats. Three. Go. Feet together, feet out. Nice and dynamic. Nice and light. Make sure the feet are coming in for each of those squats. We jump in, we jump out. Good. 
Great work, everybody. Next up, we're running on the spot and we're punching. Three, two, go. So I really want you to go for it. Punch those arms, pull them down, move them as fast as you can through that full range of movement. And move the feet. Let's go, come on. All out, flat out, five seconds. You push yourself hard. Plank jacks. Plank jacks, full press up position, feet together, stand by, go. Jump out, jump in. Keep those hips solid. Of course, we're going to lift and shift, but you're minimizing it. And it's the core that stops them dipping. Just make sure you don't lift the hips too high or we lose it from the core. Nice. Okay. Flutter kicks, next line on our backs. Five seconds and we're away. Flutter kicks. Stand by. Away. Move those feet as fast as you can. Keep those knees locked out. Nice. You push it hard. Roll onto your front. Plank to press up. Elbow plank to press up. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Okay, last exercise. Lie down, stand up, jump ups. This is it. Empty the tank. Stand back, go. Push it hard. Yes, beautiful. Okay, walk it around everybody. Shake it out, catch your breath. Nicely done, good. So that is it, the 20 exercise circuit. 40 on, 20 on, 40 on, 20 on, 40 on, 20 off for 20 minutes. And then 20 on, 10 off for 10 minutes. So 30 minutes of work there. And again, hopefully you pushed it hard there. Hopefully you get your heart rate up and down. And that's what it's all about, okay? Some exercises giving you a chance to just get rid of that heart rate, recover a bit, and then boom, something to send it back up again. So we're working through all the ranges there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you didn't, then it's too late now, isn't it? Well done. And thank you very much for coming again. And that, that concludes another Wednesday night. Really doesn't feel like a Wednesday night though, I'll be honest. Feels very bizarre. Right, thank you very much and have a good night and I'll see you next time. Activity.